guys. <clears throat> All right. What you got for me? What happened in the last session was the turnover of the inbounds. Uh, yeah, we just um, you know play that we work on every day, and uh, obviously we got to we got to tighten up some things and clean up some things. You have to make sharp cuts. You got to cut. Uh, you got to give yourself enough space so you can cut to the areas that we want to try to get the ball at, and then we got to inbound the ball right away. We can't hold it, hold it, and get uh, be afraid to pass the ball when the guy's open immediately, uh, especially against pressure. In that kind of a situation, so uh, certainly something that, that we're gonna that we need to improve on. We're gonna work on a little more. You said in the last game that you were worried about the number of threes. You took 22 threes tonight on 46 shots. Is yeah, that too many. That is too many still. That is too many still. Um, I think we did a better job of moving the ball and taking some shots just the way they were playing defensively. Um, I would have liked for us to drive the ball more and got to the free throw line a little bit more, uh, especially when we were in the bonus. They got to the got to the lane. Um, several periods pretty easily. Um, just your comment on your defense tonight as compared to Friday night. I thought our defense was a little bit better. Um, you kind of have to play off of them and that, that offense that they run, the Princeton offense. So you, you've got some ball pressure and then everybody else should be in the lane and the gaps a little soft. Uh, what you don't want to do is be over aggressive because then that's when they get you with the back cuts and the back doors. And uh, we wanted them, if they were going to go beat us, drive at the rim and play against our length at the rim. Um, you know, I just think, obviously, the game for us has to be you give anybody 21 extra possessions on turnovers, it's hard to beat a, a, a ball club that, you know, 27 points off of those turnovers. You go half of that and you're walking away here feeling a little differently right now. How do you feel about your backcourt defense so far this season? It looks like NJT was able to get in the lane a little bit more. Than um, you know, we, we've got to get, we've got to continue to get better. Our, our team defense has got to get, continue to get better. We don't have a lockdown defender that we can say, all right, go shut this guy down. But as a unit, as a team, if we're all watching and caring about one another, being in position, understanding that we need each other on defense, then that's a little different story. That's what you saw for the majority of the game. You know, and then Lynn goes in the second half, and when we had, we had him pretty contained, and he starts making shots uh, left and right in the second half. So we just got to continue to get better. It's frustrating. You know, two your first two games you've blown teams blown pretty significant leads. You know, is it kind of a learning experience? Or? Well, no, absolutely learning experience. We have to learn how to win. We have to learn how to continue to win. We we do enough, and we've shown enough that we can take a lead. Now we have to continue to play, be smart, execute, so that we can finish off games. And we have to put together a complete game if we're going to try to win. Jamal had a big three to get that run started in the second half. What did you see from him in the second half? I mean, he made all his threes. And after well, the he, took, he took the right threes. And that was a big emphasis for us uh, when the ball was moving and being reversed and he's in position to take a three. But not coming down and firing the first one, or not coming down and, and, and trying to be, be a hero. Um, and so for him, he grew today. He learned a lot. Still gotta, we still got to continue to get better. Uh, but he, made, he took open threes that were good threes for us, at least a, a, a good majority of them. Not 15, though. How's Angel? Um, he's, he was fine. He was fine. I, I you know, was a little concerned about him when he went down. and. Um, you know, we, we've got great medical staff, so I looked over down there and they said he was okay. And I went back to coaching and, and, and worrying about the guys that were on the court. And I looked down at the bench at one point, and he's giving me that I'm okay. I said, all right, get back in there. Was it, it looked like it was his, something over his arm. Yeah. Roddy almost had a triple double. I mean, not, another step in the right direction for him tonight. Yeah, and, and, and Roddy still has a, a long way to go in terms of getting himself healthy and getting himself in, in game shape, uh, you know, dealing with, with, with back spasms and stuff like that. It's been, been a little rough, but he's doing everything that he can every day to prepare himself for practice and, and for games. So it's a good sign. There's did some, a lot of positive things, you know, some things that he's got to get better at as well for us. You got 20 minutes out of Cousins tonight before he picked up the second foul and he had five blocks. Is, 
I know his defense has been something you've struggled with. Is progress? You pick progress, and a lot of it is because he's in shape and he can sustain a lot more minutes, um, as you can see. Did a good job of uh, in the times that he got fouled, making his free throws, and he's a big boy. He's a big presence. We need to get, we need for him to go ahead and get us some more rebounds, um, as they all do, as they all do. All right, nice coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.